हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस कंटिन्यू आवर चैप्टर मिनरल्स एंड एनर्जी रिसोर्सेस क्लास टेन चैप्टर ऑफ जियोग्राफी दिस इज आवर सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी डन व्हाट इज आवर व्हाट आर मिनरल्स एंड देन वी क्लासिफाइड मिनरल्स लाइक मेटलिक मिनरल नॉन मेटलिक मिनरल एंड एनर्जी मिनरल्स एंड वी आल्सो सी दैट इंडिया इज टू मच रिच इन मिनरल्स सो वेयर वे मिनरल्स आर फाउंड एंड व्हाट आर द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ मिनरल्स फॉर अ कंट्री now here we just do only one topic and that is the the mode of occurrence of minerals if you see the mode of occurrence of minerals then the minerals are basically found in this is the first is igneous rocks as we know that igneous rocks are the molten magma which comes outside and when it becomes solid that rock is known as the igneous rocks obviously it also keep a lot of minerals in it so in the igneous rock and also in the metamorphic rocks basically the minerals are found in they are found in cracks fault joints etc when they are small these smaller are known as veins as you can see here this is vein it's a intrusive igneous rocks similarly there are some other veins you can see uh, means a small cracks or small joints they are the veins here we found minerals because these are actually the magma which become solid and okay the larger when their size is larger they are called lodes l o d e s lodes so these are the lodes and as you can see here these are lodes the lodes and the difference between the lodes and vein is just that the veins are smaller and the lodes are the larger cracks where we found let us come to the second way minerals are found and then minerals are found in the sedimentary rocks where actually they are found beds or we can say the layers layers of sedimentary rocks they have been formed as because of the result of the deposition one by one because of the deposition as you can see here in this picture many years of ago one layer deposit then second layer third layer fourth layer one by one different different layer deposits and this is how we found different different minerals whatever the layer is deposit like for example 1 crore years ago this layer was deposit and this layer is made up of this is a, this was actually a forest means now later it become a coal so this is how we found in this layer coal and this is how we found different different types of minerals like coal iron ore gypsum potash salt and sodium salts etc are the examples which we have found in these minerals so sedimentary the beds and the layers of the sedimentary rocks the placial deposits uh, we all know the erosional process and the weathering process because of the erosional process this is what you can see here this is the map of second point and this is the map of third here you can see that because of the process of weathering and erosion the sediments goes downwards and this is how these sediments all deposits here means the alluvial soil deposits a layer of sediments means these placial deposits occur as alluvial deposits in the sands of these valley floors or we can say the base of these hill here we basically found like gold silver tin platinum is the most important among such minerals which are found in these placial deposits and the other things where the minerals are found is the ocean water ocean water itself contains a vast quantities of minerals all the rivers of lithosphere they all drain in oceans and this is how they bring themselves with sediments deposits so it sediments 
means minerals with them and they deposit all these minerals in the oceans and ocean itself uh, very big we found a very huge biosphere here lies there so when they died their body decomposed and this is how it also make minerals there basically the minerals which we are common salt like here you can see salt made by because the minerals are there and is here is here so when the water is evaporated salt is left and uh, magnesium boromine etc are found here so student this is how in this second part i just complete a very small topic which is the mode of occurrence of minerals i hope the concept is clear my english is not so good so maybe some problem you face but the main thing in social science is that the concept must be clear language is not the barrier and i hope the concept is clear in your mind even then if you face any kind of problem you can send your comments to me i will definitely reply you or you can visit to my blog which is between dogra dot blogspot dot in thank you student